Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Fit Podcast. It's episode 51, Brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am your host, Drew Campbell. The other fat guy is Evan Shishala. Hello, people of the universe. Who is listening? <laughs> you always charismatically fat, Evan Shishala. You really know how to woo him, don't you? Hey, we. I thought we were talking about to back down a little bit on the uh the I, that was a compliment that was a compliment did you not listen to the insult with a compliment it's still an insult what i said you're charis- charismatically fat you are very charismatically fat. <laughs> you can just say i'm charismatic but i mean that's not the full definition i'm charismatically balding does that make you feel better yeah it's, it's, what, what is this i've said now? that before what does this look now this is the first time i've ever seen you wear a hat Oh, uh, I bought a hat. I told you I was buying a hat. <laughs> I, know, I know you're going to wear it on the pod. Yeah, I don't know. I got rid of those sunglasses. By this look, you can't even tell it's suicidal tendencies. It just looks like... Suicidal? Yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. Suicidal tendencies. I love this hat. You look like... Uh... I'm buying more hats. I'm buying more trucker hats, mesh trucker hats, because it lets it breathe. I'm into it. I got another one on the way. You look like Big J Okerson and Louis J. Gomez mixed. Oh, man. Thank you so much for that. Way, <laughs> way to call me a hack in life. No. No, in life. Using my life as a hack of another of other people's lives. No. I'll just get a wallet change. Uh, I'll get a wallet yeah. chain, and then I'll just start telling people I'm Puerto Rican. No, you have to go by your, your, also your middle initial. I'm Drew or, or M. Big, Campbell. Big Drew Campbell. Big Drew M. Campbell. <laughs> this is a joke for like four people. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel like, yeah. I don't know. I think we probably have crossover with the, their fan base. I bet people lis- listen to this podcast and then go listen to Legion of Scam. That'd be a better version of our podcast, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you like our podcast, listen to a more successful version of our podcast. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. We're like the so, minor leagues, they're the big show. Yeah. Okay. So, um, as I've been talking, like you know, I've been talking a lot of shit about dogs and or pets. You know, I have the whole pet bit now. Yeah. And uh, as you know, I really want to prefix this. I mean, you pull up my Facebook my, my, uh, feed real quick. Um, I want to give everyone proof uh, that you're all way too sensitive and need to calm the fuck down. And why it doesn't matter what you think is sacred. Ever, you can't make any joke without someone getting offended about something. That no joke is not not offensive. It's just offensive to the right crowd. Because basically, I think I made what would be called a harmless joke on uh, social media. And I got back. I had, I'll, I'll prefix this. Before we talk about the joke, I was private messaged by someone about this joke. Uh-huh. And about how much it hurt their feelings. Jeez. Someone private. Now. Now, Evan, I want you to read. It's the last joke I posted. <laughs> the one, yeah. you know what you're it? I want Evan now. Now, everyone, keep in mind, people comment about how they were upset about the joke. And then I was private messaged by someone who didn't even comment about how much it hurt them, this joke, and how I should take it down, and I should apologize. <laughs> do legit, I know that person? Legit happened. I don't think you do. Okay. I'm not going to say their name because... No, because I don't want to start something, but I will say this: they're not listening to this podcast. But if you do, I didn't respond or anything. Go fuck yourself! Like holy shit, go fuck yourself! Now, Evan, this joke that got people so offended. Please, please read it. People with bumper stickers on their car should be executed by the state. That's the one. Yeah, that's a joke. Clearly a joke. If I, I, if you know you, like I know you, that that's a joke. Any harmless. who the fuck? There's a person that commented. The I had comments on it. I had this person register me taking it fucking serious. That's how yeah. fuck. That's how much comedy is dead. Is that a statement? Which do I really have to come out and be like, guys? I just want to let you know. When I said that people with bumper stickers on their car should be executed, I was not being serious. That was that was hyperbole. That's now my new word. I guess it's just that's the word I use every week now. 
but it was hyperbole. I just think they were, I saw one, I thought, oh, those bumper stickers are dumb. This would be funny to make this exaggerated statement about them. Yeah, exaggeration, simple comedy device. Yeah, it's extreme exaggeration to the point where it's like, it's, it, there's, oh, imagine scrolling through your Facebook, you think there's a world where a guy's like, I legit think we should, ki- we should kill people, kill people with bumper, stickers. bumper stickers. You know how many people have bumper stickers on their car? Yes. So many people. <laughs> It'd be most people would get executed. Yeah. <laughs> Not most, but I'd say like, I don't know, like 20% of the population. Now, I know, you know like, so this is, it's a South faith. I just said that joke because I saw a dumb bumper sticker. And I was like, ah, it's dumb. So that was the thought that popped in my head. Like, ah, oh, that's funny. Now, now because people got upset, now I'm going to double down on how much I hate bumper stickers. Let's start it out. All right. You are such an egocentric motherfucker that you need to put your opinions, what you like, and things you desire on the back of your car. Why? You can't see them because the people behind you can see them because you're such a megalomaniac that even while you're driving, you want to influence the people behind you. You're a lunatic. No one cares about your fucking opinions, your ideas, what you like, or where you've been, you fucking loser. Get out of there. Get out of there. You know what you look like? You look like a fucking asshole. All right? You look like a fucking asshole when you have bumper stickers on your car. It's a fucking dickhead thing to do. All right? I understand that you have no self-esteem, so you need to try to exuberate yourself and project your ability of yourself onto everything else because deep down inside, you have really no idea who you are. So you instead of figuring out who you are, you have to decorate the things that you own and stuff that you are because you're a fucking loser. I feel like you've been holding that in for for days. That sounded like a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I actually don't give a shit about bumper stickers, but okay. I was like, you know what? <laughs> if I'm going to offend people with bumper stickers, let me offend people with bumper stickers on this podcast. But yeah, I think I'm, that's just not proof. offended by bumper stickers. They're offended that someone would suggest people who have bumper bumper stickers should be executed by the yeah. Stuff, that's which, what I'm saying. Which they, they don't have... really get comedy. But they're just offended by a bumper sticker joke because they have bumper stickers. They're yeah. offended that they're I made offended a joke you want, you putting want down people who have bumper stickers yeah. and that upset them because they have bumper stickers. <laughs> Do you know? He's punching down, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's punching down now. It's because you own a fucking car. I didn't know I could punch down on someone who owned a car. Like, <laughs> Most yeah. of you have nicer cars than I do, too, so go fuck yourself. No, that's insane. I saw that. I was like, oh, it's pretty harmless. Like, it's it's the, it's the most innocent joke I think I've ever made, oh. actually. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. It's all right. Dude, People I laughed at it. It got, like, 15 likes. But it's nothing. It was. It didn't turn out well because I think too many people took it serious. Which is insane. I need to get off Facebook, dude. Facebook is for fucking boomers and lunatics. That's your last post. You're like, this, this app sucks. You I think I, I, I might just go, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Probably. You guys are all terrible. Like, Yeah. It's yelling into a void of losers, dude. Oh man, uh, but yeah, this, so that was just. But I guess the point I was trying to make is that. So that being said, who really gets to judge what is an offensive and not offensive joke? Well, it's the audience. Well, yeah, but I'm saying then everything's offensive, right? It's offensive to somebody. Exactly. So now, oh. when we categorize what's appropriate joke to what's not, it's the only jokes opinion. So apparently, the only jokes you can make that are not are joke offensive are jokes about yourself unless you <laughs> also have the quality of that person yeah right that, so if true. like if i made fun of myself for being balding that would offend maybe balding. other people who are balding no not bald people or i guess bald bald people too uh, that uh, aren't are, aren't like okay with me making fun of that so essentially it really comes down to this you either can make fun of everything or nothing i really think that's <laughs> it like it's just, I don't think that you get to pick what you can and cannot make fun of because everything is going to hurt someone's feelings, right? Yeah. Unless you just, unless you just do social observation, unless you just do observational humor, that's the only it's one like you can Jerry do. Seinfeld. <laughs> but even his always picks things apart sometimes. Yeah. About like what certain things people do that he doesn't like. Like he make like he talks crap about podcasts. Yeah, which is does. fine i get it he's like why are people listening to talking we're doing that right now why would i ever listen <laughs> to people talk i can talk it's like, like, why, are people, why are people sitting around the living room watching tv in the 90s watching my tv show <laughs> yeah exactly essentially why are we all getting away from that why are we at hulu or something but yeah no that shit pissed me off also before i forget i would like to i, I want to apologize for the first time on this podcast <laughs> 
I almost took one, almost the one. I guess this I, is kind of the one year. No, so I, we have an apology. <laughs> yeah, I would like to make a formal apology to Pete Davison for calling him a loser. Because uh, I, remember, I thought about I it, you calling I called that. Pete Davidson a loser last. Episode. I called MGK a loser, but I'm not okay. gonna. Ta- I'm not taking that one back. I will apologize, Pete Davidson, because I realize it's almost it, it's it's insane that I call it. It's I laughed so hard when I heard me call him that when I was editing it because I'm like, how fucking funny is it that I'm calling Pete Davidson a loser? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guy who he is essentially more successful me. In every sense of the word, and everything, yeah, he's, he's better looking, uh, makes SNL. more money, uh, is more successful in stand up and comedy. Yeah, um, dated Ariana Grande, and then essentially is more talented than me. Uh, is dated, uh, dated like the biggest pop star of this generation, starred in a comedy film with Bill Burr. <laughs> yeah, uh, a Judd Apatow film, uh, yeah. is in Smart Water ads. Yeah. Uh, just performed at Madison Square Garden, yeah, I think. He, yeah, he was part of that uh, that charity event. 20th. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch it's like of Dave comics. Chappelle, like all the big comics. Dave Chappelle, Tom Segura, Bill. Bur- there's a bunch of SNL guys. Just Jay yeah. Farrow was also on was it. Michael Che on it, maybe. Don't know. I know Colin Joust was. Okay. I don't know if Michael Che was. It was a big line. And and also non uh, comics performed too. Uh, John Stewart was on it. He's a comic, yeah. but also like fucking Serena Williams was there. Bunch of celebrities, but as all this is, it, it is hilarious that I could sit here and be like, PJ is a fucking loser, dude. <laughs> yeah, and I like, notice how funny it is for me to say that. I mean, here I am, basically just completely unsuccessful at comedy with a <laughs> podcast no one listens to, drinking myself to death. And I'm like, Pete Davis is a fucking loser, dude. Like, <laughs> MGK, MGK is a fucking loser. Why? Because he dates Megan Fox? No, not that. Like, yeah, you could do, you could say that. No, it's just like because he's not actually talented. Well, apparently he went from rap to like kind of rock. I yeah, think. but that this is here's the thing. First off, he's not. They're not. It's not good. Music. Well, it's I mean, not like, my, people it's like not it. my taste in music. But it's yeah. not good music at all. It's it's bad. I, I get why <laughs> like, people <laughs> like it. Do with the fucking people like it. I get it, but it also doesn't mean it's good. It's bad. It's not good. And I'll talk about music. I not yeah, you look like you look like talented. you own a record store right now. Yeah, like it's not it's not good. He had one song way back in the day. He had Wild Boy. Yeah. That was a big song. He that was a, a song fun now that's big, I think. Yeah, whatever. Okay. That was his big song. That was good. I remember listening to that. It's not like, oh, this is an artistic piece. You're like, this is a fun song to go there and go, I'm a wild boy. I'm a I'm a wild boy. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun at parties, you know. Like <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Then he fell into obscurity because he really was just a one-hit wonder, right? Yeah. And then the only way he became relevant again was talking shit about about, Eminem. about Eminem. Eminem. Yeah. And Eminem really, Eminem kickstarted his whole career again. <laughs> Eminem should have. If Eminem really wanted to fuck with him for doing that, he should have just not commented back, and we MGK would not be anywhere right now. Yeah. So that made him popular again, or at least people started talking about him again. And then he had to switch genres. So there's like, oh, he's changing. So then people had to talk to him, talk about him again because it was just a drastic change. So it made him, you know, different. Yeah. Uh, changed his whole appearance and style and all that, like started doing nails and stuff like that, um, which I don't care if you do that, but it's clearly not authentically him when you go back and look at him. Like he's clearly doing it for the fucking vibe. And then started talking sh- now he started then he started to fade again like he was, he was and then he started talking shit about slipknot <laughs> because he realizes that this is the only way he can stay relevant which is you know what a piece of shit way to stay relevant. i mean honestly good on him he understands that you know being popular in the music industry anymore is no longer about making good music it's just about what you can bring to the table and put eyes on you yeah but god damn it does he suck well, I'm not, yeah, I'm not a big fan of his music, but yeah, people like him. Can it's you say one controversial thing? Can you just say one controversial no. thing ever? Could you say I would suck what 10 years? I, was like, I, I like MGK's music. People are like, oh. Yo, be like, I, say something like I would suck off 10 dudes if it meant that MJ, MGK choked on a dick and died. I would do it. Say something like that. Say something wild and clickbaity. 
<laughs> Please. Why? Because <laughs> for once, can you, you can't even you can't even do a jab at MGK. What are you What are you afraid of? <laughs> what are you afraid of? With us when we make it. Also, if you listen to you like MGK, I don't care. Fine, like him. Yeah, we're uh. But make a joke, Christ's sakes, buddy. I can you give me something here. Okay. Why? Because he seems like a nice guy. And... How? He's talking bad about people for no reason. <laughs> How is that a nice guy? And it's not even a joke. Like, I can do that, but I'm being funny about it. I'm making fun of someone. It's even in the words. I'm making fun. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm a comic. I make fun. of. You know what I mean? I'm creating happiness in a way. I'm making fun for other people. What does he do? He just <laughs> talks shits about people. How is a nice guy? How you said that with the Bud Light was amazing. You're like the guy at the bar it's a pretty who good just breakdown. talks to you and doesn't like stop talking. It's a pretty good breakdown, I think. I, I think if, I'm tired of people saying that. Like, you're just making fun of him. I'm like, yeah, it's exactly what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> making fun of him. Fun. <laughs> I'm making fun. That's I'm making fun of everything. That's that's the that's the life I live. I hope he comments on this YouTube clip. MGK. <laughs> Yeah, just like, hey, watch your We mouth. totally retract all of our shit. We're like, oh my God, MGK, we're so sorry. Please, please, share we'll our podcast. We'll share our podcast. No, we'll have you on, please. You and Megan. We'll, we'll beef it out. Actually, to be honest, please talk shit about us. Would it be great? Honestly, it'd be so much better if he goes, if MGK just tweeted him. Be, goes, we blow Yo, up. I know. He's like, Yo, <laughs> this podcast and that bit sucks. They're a bunch of fake losers. I'd be like, dude, we just made it. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> I would send him a message like, thank you. Thank you, Mr. MGK. Do they call him that? They call him Mr. MGK. Mr. Mich- Mr. Machine Gun. <laughs> Mr. Machine Gun Kelly. First off, if you name yourself after a gun, you better like you better wear overalls. No. What? You don't think so? No. You better wear overalls or live or come from the hood. Those are the only two. Do you, do you know his real name? You're either you're either real white trash. Like living out, like like you shoot guns every day, which is fine, sick life, do it. Like have fun, drink, drink, rip beers, shoot beer cans, do that shit. That's cool. Then you can name yourself after a gun, or you come from the inner city and you are heavily involved in crimes. Those are the only two ways I will accept that name. Name with a gun it about it. <laughs> only once. Do you know his real name? I don't know. It's probably like something real white. It's like Michael. Kelly. No. Oh, it is Kelly. Even right? more than that. No, not at all. What? It's, it's a Colson Baker. Ugh. Ugh. He's did from, you just look that up or did you know that? I just looked it up right now. He's from was, Houston, Texas. He's from Houston, Texas. So he's not far off. Maybe he was a guy who grew up and then he just no, he's just he doesn't have the testosterone for that. He was born to missionary parents. His parents had missionary sex. To have them <laughs> set you up for that one. <laughs> His parents are missionary, and he dresses and acts that way because he's rebelling. So You're he's, fucking. They moved all around the world, and they moved like Egypt and yeah, Germany. it's cool. And so now he acts this way because he's rebelling against his Christian parents, dude. You're like, what is he like? Thirty? Thirty-one? Yeah. You're thirty-one. You don't have to rebel against your parents anymore, MGK. <laughs> You can have kids yourself. You're a grown adult. And some people might go, Drew, look at you. You're rebelling against your parents. No. My mom saw me dressed like this. She said I looked very handsome. All right? So it's not rebelling against anything. <laughs> not rebelling against anything. They're a fan. They're a fan yeah. of how I dress. So, suck a dick, dude. Metaphorically. Because there's nothing wrong with physically sucking a dick. I'm not homophobic at all. I'm using the metaphorical. It. I do still think they say that se- saying suck a dick is a homophobic. Like, oh, because you're saying it's so bad to suck a dick that, you know, like, like some people say go and tr- like walk into traffic and you're comparing sucking a dick to like it's like doing that. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's homophobic. No, I just honestly think sucking a dick sucks. Like. Like Why? girls, it, uh, some girls, some sucks. girls. Is this like a literal thing? Some girls like it, but it's not. It's not fun for all of them. There's, I've met, I know that there's, I've met girls that don't like sucking dick, and I'm sure there's gay dudes out there that also don't like sucking dick. Like they're into dudes, but they're just like, I don't want a dick in my mouth. That's why we don't need to do it. We should just call it off. This is a call off sucking dick. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. I'm a pretty oh, big fan. No, I'm I'm a big fan of getting my dick sucked. Dude. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. I, I'm not. I'm not saying that. It just, I do say suck a dick because I don't know. It sucks to suck dick. I mean, I don't know. I <laughs> just have like like been there in my I thought mind. I thought you're making the joke. You're like sucking the dick sucks. I'm like, is that literal? Yeah, I mean, I mean, that was kind of the joke about. It. It's kind of fun to say suck. It sucks to suck dick. It's kind of funny to say. Reminds me of the good old middle school days. Well, when you suck a dick. I feel like, did we not get that? Like all the older time, kids dude. were like, suck a dick. Oh, I told everybody that. Yeah, dude, even you of all people. Like, yeah. Suck a dick. <laughs> it just sounds like it's suck a dick. Like, <laughs> sounds a, a great way to terrorize young children. On the playground. Yeah. I mean, I, I would like intimidate them. People my own age. I didn't really I didn't really bully kids younger than me. Yeah. I literally bully only made fun of, Yeah, but only those that were also on the football team. So really it was just hazing. Like <laughs> it was yeah. dominance. Like it wasn't like the I good old two thousand eight. I never went up and picked on like the kid that wasn't like, you know, the small kids that weren't in, like football. Because there were small kids in football, not say that, but you know, like the small kids that Maybe weren't as athletic. They didn't play football. I never went and picked on them. I didn't. I legit never did that. Oh, I know. It's just like, <laughs> you're like, I'm a good person. I only picked on people like me. Yeah. I picked on people that were my equals, at least physically yeah, and in that. I was long well, you were physically forever. Oh, dude, you're so gross. Your personal hygiene sucked in grade school. It still sucks. No, no. You're a presentable human now. Like, you, you were gross. You shaved, didn't you? I just noticed I got that. A haircut, yeah, I grew my. I noticed you got a haircut. It's weird. It looks like a your top of your head looks like a fist now. It looks like you got a heart in it. Like if you look at a certain way, Ooh. I don't know. It kind of works. Where'd you go? Great clothes. I don't know. You're supposed to make a joke. That is a joke. I can't afford anywhere else to go get a good haircut. I gotta go uh, great clothes. I thought you were gonna say like I was. You could have said something like I don't know. I went to Pussies R Us like. That's that, that's our uh, first barber shop. We're gonna open one us. Yeah. yeah, come get your haircut from this and the balding guy. We got top yeah. notch hair here. Losers are us. It's, the balding one is you just come in and then we just shave your head and go. Doesn't that look better? <laughs> like, I asked you to trim it. it this is trust me. <laughs> this is better in the long run. You can have more confidence in the long run. Trust me, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Oh man, yeah. So that was my tirade. Uh, good on you, Pete Davidson. Fuck you, MGK. Also, wait, wait. I was about to ask something else about MGK, wasn't I? The hell else? You talked about say? missionary, and you yeah. said the missionary sex. Right? Oh, and then about he's still rebelling against his parents. Yeah. What a loser. That's oh, such a loser thing to do to be thirty-one, still rebelling against your parents. Grow up. Grow up, you fucking loser. Also, I did realize. We did, you know, I said, like, there's no way this world could get better. Yeah. There is. It's just not going to happen. Well, there is. uh, There's one way. This is it. If we all decide to be more accepting, and I mean all of us, because some of you, for some reason, there's a giant power. There's both sides of the population that think that doesn't apply to them. We have two sides that both are like, the other, yeah, I'm accepting, but they're not. It's like, well, you're, again, not being accepting to them while saying that. So that's not yeah. very accepting. And then the other side going, I don't accept them because they don't accept me. It's like, well, again, you're not accepting. It's like both sides are like, they're both full on retards, if you ask me. But <laughs> they are, um, that's like the two sides of the country right now. And um, so it's like the only way we do is we all start being more accepting more caring, more open-minded, liking each other more, even when, like, basically, like Mark Twain has a really good quote, which he goes, you can ch- you can judge the character of a man by the way he treats someone that can do him no good. Or do, yeah, I think it is that. Which, I mean, let that sit for a second. It's too deep of a quote for me to comprehend. You can judge the character of a man by how he treats a per- or treats a man, treats someone let me. All right, I, I, I blundered it. Let's try this again. All right. I had a couple more lines. needs to work on his editing. <laughs> yeah, he does. You can judge the character of a man by how he treats someone who can do him no good. 
if you explain it to anyone, this what does okay, that so mean? So what it is saying is you can just the be, character of someone, someone you can by how judge. They treat other people. No, treat the other people that will do, that can do them no good. Which means you can tell how good of a person someone is if they treat someone that has no ability to do anything good for them. Which means if ah. like even like people that are going to treat you bad, you can judge how good of a nice. character. If you treat them nice, that's how you tell you have good character. Gotcha. If we sense. all if we all did that, if we all did that, we could we could we could figure this out. Oh, that, that, here's the problem. That's a dream out the window. Well, here's the problem because most of us don't even do that for our family. No. There's a lot of us out here. You're listening right now. You don't even do that shit for your family. <laughs> your fucking blood. Your fucking family. Someone's like people, comment like, "Stop calling me out, Drew." <laughs> well, that's why people like say now they're like, "Oh, well, you know, friends are the family you get to choose." It's like, yeah, that's why it's not special. Like, yeah, you're not. It's not blood. That's, you that's don't have to go to any no, family that's, parties. That's, that's or the anything. most selfish thing I've ever heard. Is going, yeah. oh, friends are the family you get to choose. You get to choose your family. I'm like, well, yeah, I guess, but it's also. No, it's insanely selfish to think that way because you're just going, well, I'm only going to surround people that are nice to me and that can do well to me. It's like, and you'll abandon anyone that needs help or is like in a bad place because <laughs> you get to choose your family, you know? It's it's yeah. insane. And most of us don't even do that for our family. I mean, the amount of people I know that are really shit. I mean, I, 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 I've i fallen. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and preach. I could do more for my family. I could do a lot more for my family. <laughs> but I, like the I'm part of the like, problem. I also, when I fall. say all this stuff, I don't want to sound like an elitist and go like, I'm also part of the problem of why all this is going to end. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it actually kind of makes me a worse person. Because I, the I know I'm part head. of it. You're all I, fucked. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're all fucked. It's not, but so am I. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I know I'm contributing to a lot of these problems, and I'm just not doing anything to change it because it's just hard. Like, yeah, that's why no one does anything. That's why we. Yeah, we that's why we're fucked. Stay the same. That's work. why we're fucked. I yeah. honestly, I think, I, I think I make a pretty good effort to not be a part of it, but I am. I mean, we're all part of it in some way or another. I think I'm not as big of a part of the problem as a lot of the other people out there like most of them like most of the people i think i'm better at it than most people i think that's fair for me to say <laughs> but uh yeah now i'm part yeah, of the problem too but if you think about it, most of us won't even do it for our own family and now we're supposed to do that for complete strangers i mean yeah it's, it's never gonna happen school, it's right? never gonna happen school, you we're even... supposed to do we exercise this to form friendships and bonds like team building, class building exercise. That's how you gain the skills to be nice people. Somewhere along the line, we drift so you're away saying from school that. School is teaching us to be nice. It's supposed to. It wasn't the yeah, case. Didn't do it for me. <laughs> didn't do that for me. By older I, people. Honestly, I didn't become a nice person until I got out of school. Yeah. I think actually comedy made me a, a way nicer person. It's all the politeness and stuff. Like, just I think I was just meeting new people all the time too. I was just they were I met all somebody much older. They were all wiser. They were just well, not all of them were much older. A lot of them were. I was just I was meeting from people from all over the world and all different walks of life, all different income levels. On like every day, you know, you'd go to a show and you just meet people of every different race, gender, age, different nationalities. You know, some people the foreigners. It was great. It was like it was a great. I I did like I was like ah oh, man I totally was meeting so many different people all the time like in the most diverse groups uh, ever. I mean, don't get me wrong. There were some shows that were all straight white men out there. There were there were those shows. <laughs> there were those shows. Well, you know, it's Michigan. <laughs> it's the majority of Michigan is that like. Yeah, but there's a lot. No, there's a lot of other words. You can have a diverse show. Yeah. I think there's no excuse to not have a diverse show. I mean, it, it depends how many comics are in the lineup. Yeah. I mean, like, if you just have four comics on the lineup and just four of them end up being straight white dudes, I don't think that's like well, you, you weren't even trying. Some, like, reach out to like women or people of color and just like, hey. I, I, I what if you, what if, but what if the next show was for, you know, women of color? Yeah, like I mean, like, if you're not, like as long as you're not thinking together. about it, you know what I mean. Like if you're, you're like just keep booking the four comics, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, as long as you're not thinking about it that way, if you're just booking four comics and they just happen to all be of that, like 
I think it's weird. I think it's more reasons to be like, okay, well, we got to get someone who's not, like, we got to have a black person on the show or something. Like, it's like, we, that's a weird way to think about people, you know? Yeah. But I also think it's weird if that was, if you never did that, like, yeah, there's clearly another, clearly, and not even just another, they're very, they're some of the best comics. It's like insane to not also have them on your show. Like, why would you only have straight white dudes? It's baffling. You're missing out on a large percentage of the massive talent out there. You're missing out on most of the large percentage of the massive talent out there. Yeah, it's different voices and perspectives. An audience doesn't want to go and just hear a bunch of straight white men tell dick shows. Well, which, yeah, can, which can be uh, the case. It can be the case. Like I said, it depends on the lineup. Like if you're running like a full mic, if you're doing like a 10 person, eight person no, show, no, yeah, that's no. absolutely insane. Yeah. That's insane. But I was saying like, oh, you're doing like a host headline, like a host feature headline. Oh, that's just three comics. You just got three comics. You, you know what I mean? Like if you're just throwing and like picking out three comics and they just yeah. all happen to be that, it'd be weird for you to go, well, I can't now because now it just happens that you then you're like, then you're focusing too much on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that makes sense. I, I mean, Evan, it's weird to like for you to say that when we have not had a woman on this show yet. We're trying to get get one. No, we we haven't even made a single attempt. <laughs> we haven't made a single attempt. I did. I did. I did ask one. I did ask one. They said no. They said. Uh, they said they did not want to be a part of this. Well, that's great. Well, only for their own uh, public um, repertoire. I'll ask him again. Yeah, this is so this is so great for my public perception. <laughs> Yours? Yeah, doing. Well, podcast. well, no, I think well because you know they actually like. They are really, really invested with their career uh, intertwined with um, social media. Uh, like, yeah, I mean, it's different. Like, because it, it does matter if, like, if your career is not intertwined, but like, literally, like, they use social media for their work. Yeah. Does that make so? It's like it's very interject. Like, like, their clients would see this. See me in my suicide hands. He's at. <laughs> I'm going. What's up, chick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's it like to have an additional hold in us dudes? Oh, go, go. That's like me doing a parody of me yeah. interviewing a girl. <laughs> yeah. I'm making fun of myself. I'm making fun. Am I offended about of what, the actions I said about me? Am I offended at me? Not at all. So Not at all. You, you, you fucking pissed off the whole world with a bumper sticker, Joe. <laughs> I pissed off like three people. <laughs> but still, this is it's crazy. That bumper sticker shit, man. Grow up, you fucking losers. I can't, I can't believe it. That someone that's, you. that's also the first time that's anyone's insane. messaged me about a joke, and it was that one. Isn't that crazy? I did a joke about suicide a year ago. No messages. Like, <laughs> and that one, I'll stand behind that one still, but that one I would at least kind of get. Like, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. I saw Primus last week. Yeah, how was that? It was awesome. I am jealous. I want to go to that, but I was also not hyped about. It. They were they're covering a uh, Rush album, which I love. Rush. I mean, I've talked about Rush on the show, but I also didn't really want to see Primus cover Rush. Does that make sense? Yeah, but Rush is no longer a thing. I, mean, I know Primus is like the close band with the closest sound. Yeah, I would agree. Pretty much. Yeah, it was probably dope as fuck. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was weird because it was raining. It was pouring. I oh, got there. Yeah, I got there, and uh, the opening act had already went up. They were supposed to go on at Oh, seven. my God, wait, I'd stop. It would way funnier if you were like, it's raining, it's pouring, the old <laughs> man is... Okay, I'm sorry, that's a dumb joke. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, so the show was supposed to start at 7, that's when I kind of got there, and the opening act had already gone up. They were supposed to go on at 7. Oh, they started early? They started early. So, like, half... There may have been maybe five or ten rows of people that watched the opening act play. Everyone else was literally in the ticket line or trying to get through security. And uh, and it's an outside venue. But I think that just with the weather and the tickets, everyone there was no one in the lawn. Everyone was under the. It was oh, they just probably let everyone move up. Yeah, like I I had a lawn seat. I got to move up to like perfect center. Literally, oh damn! It was a great ticket. Probably because some people just decide not to even come. It was yeah, raining. It was really that bad. They and then yeah. Primus went out at seven forty-five. What? Because the there was like a flood warning on at ten o'clock, so they wanted to get the concert over by done, so they could pack shit up and not lose all their gear. Yeah, that makes sense. 
but smart it was, decision. It was over like two hours. I can't believe it. They played like over an hour of their own material. They opened with those damn blue collar tweakers. Oh, so good. Mashed live. up with Lacquerhead. It's oh fuck, dude. That's my favorite Primus song, Lacquerhead. <laughs> like I had that stuff coming by. Yeah, they were playing. Listening like me do Primus part. just with my mouth is probably the dumbest <laughs> I've ever sounded. <laughs> they were playing like the outro of those damn blue power triggers, and then they showed like the, the music video of the, that kid in the couch. Yeah, with the fucking the claymation. The, with the, yeah. The, you, know, said, you know, Les Claypool does all the claymation for the music videos. I did not. He's super weird. He likes claymation. I told you, he's a fucking weird dude. He kills that bass, and then there's also a thing he likes to do is make claymation. All their music videos are at claymation. That's all Les Claypool. Oh, shit. Which is, that's it's also probably the weirdest thing you could do. Yeah, it'd be claymation. Can you imagine if you met someone that like, I do claymation, you'd be like, do you what also do you also <laughs> stand at your mother, the foot of your mother's bed with a kitchen knife while she sleeps? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's kind of sick, though. Those it is cool. They, they played a deep cut from the Antipop. And like no Which one? Uh, Eclectic Electric. Oh, fuck, dude. Antipop's like my favorite album by them, too. <laughs> they played a, a mashup of Too Many Puppies and Sergeant Baker. God damn it. They played Jeez, I'm upset I didn't go, dude. Professor Nutbutter's House of Treats. I haven't seen, I've seen them twice, and they're both amazing shows, but it's been years since I've seen Primus. Last time I saw Primus was at that theater, and I was in the second row, and then, like, the guy next to me was like, yeah, dude, I fucking love Primus. I just saw him in Chicago, and then I came here, and I'm like, oh, that's badass, dude. And we were talking for a little bit, but when the show started, we were so into Primus, what fucking uh, Tommy the Cat was playing, me and the guy were just jumping up and down, he turned, he just grabbed me, like, like put an arm around me, and I put an arm around him, and we were jumping, fucking <laughs> singing the lines the Tommy the cat together. <laughs> hey baby, do you want to lay down with me? Hey baby, do you want to lay down by my side? Hey, baby, do you want to lay down with me? <laughs> oh god damn it! That. Dude, I'm geeking. I haven't, I haven't talked about Prime. I haven't got to talk about anyone about Primus in a while. It's <laughs> one of my. Fa- also, now how people know this about me because I don't like listening to Primus with other people that much. Because they just don't. It's like you either get Primus or you don't. And I totally understand. Like some people are like, I don't like this. And I'm like, I, I get I it. Get like, that, yeah. I get it. I'm like, it's not for everybody. It's totally not for everybody. But <laughs> I mean, they're insanely talented musicians. Like Les Claypool is, I think, the greatest bass player of all time. Yeah. You talked and, during the set about like, uh, it's like we were talking about doing this tour when uh, Neil Peart was still alive. Yeah, they were. It got canceled because of COVID. And then they had to say they opened for Slayer. Yep. And that pushed them back. But they played the, uh, during the main set of their stuff. They He put on the pig mask. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, they shit. They played Mr. Crinkle. And they played uh, Jilly's on Smack instead. It was still sick. He had the upright yeah. bass. I saw him play Mr. Crinkle with the pig mask in the upright. In the, yeah. There was people there. Where, there was like, I saw at least three pig masks. Yeah, Primus fans are weird. Primus fans are like, I bought this oh. T-shirt. Oh, it's a dope T-shirt, dude. Primus has dope T-shirts too. They have such cool artistic designs for their T-shirts. Um, and uh, fuck, what was I gonna say? There's a Primus fans are like, they're like juggalos that not didn't want to fully commit. Would yeah. you say that? Would you say <laughs> there's another world where probably if like one or two worst things happen to us, we'd probably be juggalos? I mean, probably. I don't like their music at all, but I'm just saying, like, we like Primus. And I'm, I'm not saying Primus is anything like Joe, but it's definitely weird fucking music. Like, it's yeah. weird music. No doubt about it. Um, So I can see, I'm like, it's like, oh, man, we were not far off from being Juggalos. Yeah, but they played uh, My Name is Mud and Jerry was a wage car driver. I mean, just listen to the name of these songs. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mud, Jerry the K- race car driver, fucking Tommy the cat, Jilly's on smack, Mr. Crinkle. Like, yeah. Too many puppies. Yeah. Then they played the whole John lot. the Fisherman. There's a lot of guy, it's a lot of name and then what they are. The <laughs> then what they are. And they played that whole album, which is amazing. And then uh, their encore was Frizzle Fry and oh, uh, yeah? Southbound Packeter. And it was like a 13 minute long and, and a lesson layer had double neck guitars it was sick. god damn it some people are like this sounds terrible me and you have like oh full erection right now <laughs> that was awesome it was a good time i'm glad you had a good time bud i wish i was there 
I want to go see Slipknot with you this weekend, but you said no. Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. I don't even know, like, I know Psychosocial, because that was the big song. I, I mean, that's we the were... song you need to know. It's their best yeah. song. I mean, I, I, I'm, not, will kill us all. I'm not even a huge Slipknot fan, honestly. I like Kill Switch and Gage is opening for them. I like Kill Switch and Gage and also Code, Code Orange. Orange. I, I, I Code Orange is my favorite out of any of that. I really, really like Code Orange. Code Orange is sick as fuck. I, I really wanted to go Grand Rapids or something. I think. I don't know if I if they did, I missed it because I, I would have paid to go see Code Orange. I think they're awesome. I've wanted to see them for like over like, you know a couple of years now. And I have never had the chance. They've always opened. Like I think last time they came, they opened up for Slipknot. Was the last time they came through? I think they tour Slipknot quite often. Um, but they're awesome. They're fucking great. And like Slipknot's like, ah, oh, that'd be fun. Like I'm not even a huge yeah. Slipknot fan, but you know that'd be a fun show. I'll buy the hundred dollar mask at the merch thing. <laughs> yeah, just where there will be a guy. Yeah, no there doubt. will be a guy. There will be multiple. No, people I'm telling probably. you, there is a guy that is part of the band whose only job is to hit a trash can with a lead pipe. Yeah, <laughs> he's a percussionist and he plays like a fucking trash can or like a keg. It's like, God, God. it's like that's just fun. Like that's just good. That's good family fun right there. Lid pipes and trash cans. It's at a DTE. Yeah, it's almost a wrestling match. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. In this state, these October concerts that are in amphitheaters, it's kind of freaky. Kind what of do you freaky. mean? Just it just feels weird. So many um, shows we go to during the summer, it's just light out and it gets dark like sunset. Now it's just, I haven't even got the first, the headliners haven't gone on yet. It's just pitch black outside. I like that, dude. Outside pitch black and then like bands playing. And it's just, yeah. amphitheaters are my favorite. I love outdoor venues. I, I'm going to see Kiss in a few weeks. Yeah, come, that's going to be awesome. You should come. It's on a Friday now. I got work. It's on a Friday, though. I got work. But it's on a Friday. <laughs> I have to work. Because you don't work the next day, though. I work Friday nights. Uh, boo. Then how'd you go see Primus on a Wednesday, bitch? Like, <laughs> <laughs> South the work Wednesday. It's Friday nights. Whatever. Fuck you. Anything else you do this week? Nope. All right. Well, that was fucking awesome. How was your haircut? Did you get a haircut? Oh, I did get a haircut. Yeah, well, we already talked about it a little bit, but I forgot to ask you. Are you one of those... Do you get like your hair washed when you do it? I don't know. I've never been to Great Clips. What is that experience like? Do you tell them what you want? Actually, oh, they they have uh, a slip. So that you has go your up. Memory is like the last time you're here, you got this and this. Do you still want that? And I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. I thought you were, like just walked in there and were like, hey, can you just make me look like an asshole? <laughs> I'm like, we got you, buddy. We know exactly what to do. To be honest, I I kind of forget what the guards are like i don't know what to get just just do do whatever that's what i want to say next time honestly <laughs> i, just, I normally will do that like if i i haven't had my hair cut god i think it's probably been years no it hasn't been years it's been Today, over it's been over a year i haven't had my hair cut in over a year that's insane that's awesome i guess i don't know I mean, my hair is really See, my long hair, now. Yeah, my hair doesn't grow long from the back. It goes on up front. Looks disgusting. Well, I, mine also kind. Of, eh, mine really doesn't grow that long in the front. Um, dude, I could put my fucking hair into a ponytail now. That's how long it is. <laughs> Please, next time. No, I look stupid. I'm not doing it. Be, it. be hilarious though. No, I'm sure. Oh, okay. For you, I'll do it for you. Yeah, it'll be funny for the one year. Well, oh, you mean for the pod? You won't really be able to see it well for the pod. Because I don't, my hair's not long enough where it's like I have a long ponytail. I just have like a ponytail. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's not like I have a ponytail where it's like coming down. No, it's, it's just I, like, it's yeah, just I can, like a little tie kind of. Yeah, it's like, knot. it's like that long, I think, after the knot. But yeah. as long as my finger, a little bit longer than my pointer finger. But it is a ponytail. It's like, oh, God, man. What the fuck's happened to me? Yeah, I think you said, but it was long enough way back when we were younger when you could have like a ponytail. Maybe yeah, we were like I, 18 or 19 or something. This might be the longest I've ever had my hair. No, I did have it a little bit long. No, you're right. I did. I could have had it. Yeah, I was 18, 19. That was probably the longest. It was, it was longer in the front. 
Yeah, well, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah. You know, fuck that. Um, what else? So I wanted to talk to you about something. How much time do we have left? Uh, about 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. I forgot to go on my whole thing about pets. I was going to start with that, and then I did. <laughs> so let's I do that. About it too. Uh, so I, t- I talked shit about the pets and the whole puppet, but um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, we went through 45 minutes of this podcast for me to finally get back to what I was initially yeah. starting to talk. That's why, this that's is this it. podcast. Perfect, and, this is why it is what it is. It t- I went, we went on a 45 minute diatribe before I went. Okay, so what I was talking about was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. Uh, yeah, good conversation. So, we had not before this really. We have nothing to talk about. I all I want to talk I about is the Primus concert. Really, I really, I wanted that to talk wasn't about, even interesting. I just glowed about the set list that you missed. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to talk about uh, that joke I made in the person private messaging me. Which again, if you are listening to this and you private messaged me, sorry, a beer burp. <laughs> I just want to say this. I just want to say this. Please listen up. To those who private message me about a joke, kill yourself. I want you to walk down to Walmart right now, buy a gun, no. buy a gun. I uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> buy a gun, kill yourself, and make the world a better place. Because what I just said, encourage what I, I, I can, podcast. I can encourage whatever I want. Show me a law. Show me a law where I says I can't, and I'm not encouraging suicide. Hey. If you're out there and you have any suicidal thoughts, get help. Therapy is a is a very successful option, and it there's nothing wrong with getting help when you need help. It doesn't make you weak. I can't believe you're saying no, this with no, the ad. No, 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 let me finish. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a band thing. All right, I come know, on. All right, there's nothing to do with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with getting help. The stigma for getting like therapy is ridiculous. There's an idea that it makes you weak if you're going through mental health problems. It does not make yeah. you weak. It makes you strong to look for advice because it shows that you're showing strength enough to push through and not have pride and admit you need help. That takes strength, not weakness. Go get help. That being said, if you get offended by a joke about bumper stickers and message me about it, that doesn't apply to you. Go fucking buy a gun and blow your brains out. You're the, you're the only person I legit suggest. I'll buy a gun for you. I'll start a go fund. If you can't afford a gun, we'll go fund you a gun. We go, hey, let's fucking make it so blah and blah and blow their brains out. And it will get funded so fast because you're an unbearable human being. And deep down, you know, you know that's what should happen because you read that bumper stickers joke. You read how it says it should be executed and you went, I should be executed. And then you felt bad. And that's why you messaged me because <laughs> you were, you know, I'm right. So about so, pets. Yeah, the pets. After the, you know, telling them to kill themselves. But seriously, go fucking kill yourself. I wish I could say your name, dude. I wish I could. Oh, God. It, it fucking flared me up, dude. Flared me up. All right. So immediately after? What was that? No, no. It was like within... Like, I think it was like... like It was like... A, it was within eight or ten hours. It wasn't immediately after. It was hours later. Okay. But the pets thing. So I've been really against pets. <laughs> I don't know if we can ever talk about anything because I even started to do the pets thing and then I just, oh God, I'm a lunatic. Pets. Let's yes, go. Pets. Let's I, go. I've railed against pets a lot, but I'm uh, officially, I don't, I got chased by a great Dane at my work and it tried to, try to bite me, you know, and fucking chased me down, was barking at me, I had to jump in my truck, came up, sla- I shut the door until I jumped up, started <laughs> like the fucking bite me. Oh, and here's the thing: I don't like any Great Dane. I've never met a Great Dane I like. I don't like them. I, I I've already established. I'm an, I, I don't I know hate. how many Great Danes I met, but yeah, they're not. Yorkies suck. I already said that Yorkies are fucking the worst rat dogs ever. They feel like they feel like hippie hair on a fucking rat. That's what they are. It's greasy mangled hair <laughs> on a rat. Oh, who fuck likes them? I think they're made for so humans can pa- practice field goals in now, the wild. I'm now, pretty sure that's why they were created. Is so humans can practice nice field DM goals in the wild. Like, hey man, I, own, I own a Yorkie. I own and you should fucking said. kick it. You should punt it into traffic, you loser. Buy a dog that doesn't feel like gross fucking hippie hair that doesn't get washed. Glued, Pete is, is going to shut Cement glued to a fucking rat. 
He is going to shut us down. Yorkies suck and Great Danes suck. You want to know why Great Danes suck? Or as I like to call them, the not so Great Dane? Because they're fucking, they're fucking egotistical. What makes them so great? Huh? What makes them so good? Why do they get that name? What's a fucking dickheaded name that is? Great Dane? Great Dane is such a dude. That sounds like something I'd hear like someone's first open mic. You know, Great Danes, or I like, like to call them not so Great Danes. <laughs> it made you laugh. That's so fuck it. It is. It's, it's amazing. No, fuck Great Danes. What makes them, like, what, honestly, what makes them good? They're large. They die early. They look weird. They look. Have you looked at a Great Dane? They look weird. Their bones stick out. They're essentially the Andre. They're like the like the dogs with gigantism disease. You, you recall them? Andre? Bone structure feels Andre fucking the weird. The giant dogs. I don't like them. They got an ego. Also, it's a dickheaded name for a dog. Great Dane. Fuck that dog. That's like if my name. If I called myself, I'm Drew the Great. You'd be like, fuck this guy. <laughs> you're and you're like. I, that's also my new stage name. Yeah, uh, Drew the Great. <laughs> that was like a fucking, who name. was Ivan the Great? Wasn't he a Viking or he was a lord of a of a northern European country? He was Ivan the, the Great. Grand Prince of Moscow. Oh, even worse. What is the title of Grand Prince in Decal? And what is the history of Ivan? Ivan the Great Dane. Fucking Great Danes. Get out of here. I you with your spaghetti that, legs. Their legs a, look like the two towers. If one plane flew into them, they'd, fucking, they'd both come down. There's an Ivan the Great, and there's also an Ivan the Terrible. I was talking about Ivan the Great. Ivan the Terrible sick, because that's such a cool name. That's a cool dude, dude. If you if they're called Terrible Danes, I think I'd be a fan. That's a dog I can get behind. A self-deprecating dog, not this egotistical fuck that thinks he's great. You ain't better than me. I like, a, I like picturing me just drunk outside of like a, a, someone who breeds Great Dane's house. There's a bunch of Great Danes like just outside. I was like, what? me drunk go, well, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? Fight me. And then they'd bite you're you. not better than me. They'd attack you. Oh, dude, I'd fuck him up. Great Danes suck. Honestly, I want to fight that one, but if I fucking killed someone's dog, that'd be a problem. I'd yeah, lose my job. Lawsuit, yeah. Honestly, it shouldn't be. If you if you invite if you order a package, and you're you're essentially inviting me on your lawn, and your dog comes out to attack me, I should be able to kill your dog. No, I'm fucking That's tired like, of this. Are you gonna call your local state rep and be like, I have a new uh, bill to pass? I'm so dude. I've been bitten so many times by dogs that I wish I could killed. Uh, on the job? Yes. I wish I could have killed them. I wouldn't have been bit. I have scars on my forearm. I'm now scarred for life. And honestly, I could have technically killed them because I could have like I could have done the whole police thing, but that's just pussy shit, dude. If you sue people, you're a fucking pussy. No, you just like give free money. Yeah, it's pussy shit, dude. You wouldn't about, sue if it, it would help you make money. I would I would sue a company. Okay. I would never sue an individual, no. no. Why? I could have. I could, dude, every time I've been bit by a dog, I could have sued three people at my job. I've never even thought about once, even slightly. Yeah, you, dude, if you get bit by a dog on someone's property, you can just sue them. Yeah. It's easily win that case. Yeah, because you were attacked on their property. It's yeah. an easy win. Mm-hmm. Unless they argue that you incited the dog. Which they would literally have to have video proof of me going, okay. come on, you fucking dog. <laughs> yeah. You're not so great. Like, yeah. Oh, great day. Not so great day, huh? I feel like that's why I'd yell at it after I like fought it. Like, I feel like I picture me like boxing a great Dane or boxing and I knock it out. And it's like my Muhammad Ali moment. You know, that classic one where he's like yelling at, I forgot who it was they knocked out. But you know that picture? George, it's a George Fraser. I don't know. Can you pull it up? You know what picture I'm talking about where he's like, where it's like he's knocked out, he's boxing, he's like him yelling at what a great shirt. I should get that shirt. That's a badass shirt. Well, I'm at least sick. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the greatest boxer ever. I think he is. I know there's the argument that George Floyd is, but or not George Floyd. Holy shit. <laughs> it's called George Floyd. George... <laughs> oh fuck. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it was uh, Sonny Liston. 
What? Sonny Liston? Okay, I'm pretty sure I just kind of accidental did a racist. I just called George it. Foreman. <laughs> I think that might have been accidentally the funniest thing ever said on the podcast. It's so funny. This is what I, I heard you say. I was like, Imagine I someone making that argument. Like, <laughs> it's like, I don't think you know a lot about boxing. Oh, I know my boxing. All right. Like, no, uh, a lot of people say Floyd Mayweather. Um, yeah. Or is, Manny Pacquiao. Or is he UFC? Is that the same? Manny Pacquiao, yeah. I think Manny Pacquiao, I wouldn't say he's the greatest of all time, but he's my favorite. He's probably the greatest of the modern era. Manny Pacquiao? Yeah, His man, record wouldn't say that. Man. I would say so, because fucking the only reason Floyd has his, his fucking shit is because um, he was dodging Pacquiao in his prime. He didn't fight Pacquiao until Pacquiao took a loss. And Pacquiao never dodged fights, dude. Pacquiao was taking all the fights. It was fucking mad. I think when we're badass. in our 40s, we're going to be like, you know what? Paul, None of this mattered. None of this mattered. No, None of this mattered. And we, uh, Logan we should have probably... Oh, what about them? Oh, like, they're the greatest. They're the greatest. Yeah. They might be, dude. I don't give a shit. I mean, neither of them won a match yet that mattered, but, you know. <laughs> they're talked about in all the sports. Well, they, they would. Didn't he... Didn't, did Jake Paul beat the UFC fighter in the boxing match? I don't know. I didn't end up watching that. Logan one. Paul tied. Well, still, Floyd but he's Mayweather. not a boxer, so don't think that's that impressive. You know what I mean? I'm thinking on Floyd Money Mayweather. He lost. It was it wasn't scored. What? I don't, it was it wasn't scored. It was like an exhibition. What do you mean? There was no win or loss. Oh well, because it's not a real boxing match. Yeah. But then it was always going to do that. Floyd. I don't think Floyd's ever knocked anyone out. No, that's not how he. That's not how he boxes. He's a defensive boxer. Yeah. His whole way is he'll tag you. He gets his points in, and then you just don't touch him. It's the thing. He just tags you up, so he gets his points in, and then he's just like, "You're never gonna hit me." I don't know that much about boxing to comment on it. <laughs> what was I talking I about before ball, that, bro. though? You were talking about Pacquiao. No, I was talking about fucking Great Danes. Fuck them, you know. <laughs> Dude, I, God damn it. That fucking George Floyd, Floyd Mayweather thing. That's amazing. No, it's because you said George Frazier, and then I was thinking no, I said Floyd George, Mayweather. George Foreman. Well, no, before that, you said what? Joe Frazier or something? Joe Frazier. I don't know. I, it's Floyd. It's the Floyd got me mixed up yeah. in my brain. So it's just, I said George Floyd instead of Floyd Mayweather. And it's honestly I really funny. That out here. We're not editing that out. What the fuck are you getting mad at? I didn't say anything bad about either. Well, I did. No, I didn't say. I don't think I said. It. I did. Floyd Mayweather dodges opponents, but I didn't say anything bad. George Floyd got murdered by the cops. This is a horrible thing. I don't have any jokes to make about him. I, but I did. It is funny that I called him the greatest boxer of all time. Yeah. That's funny. That is really funny. Some people will take offense. I For know what culture. the fuck did I do? No. I mean, you could you could say I was racist. You could say that was a racist slip yeah, that I call. I was just like, oh, Floyd and black guys. I can't tell them apart. I mean, I don't think that's what happened because I clearly Same know the name, difference Floyd. between the greatest boxer who ever lived debatably and a man who was murdered by the cops. Like, yeah, I know the fucking difference. And honestly, the word. You thought uh, Floyd they Floyd. said, say his name. That was the big chant. I said his name, motherfuckers. So touche. If anything, I helped out the cause, dude. Don't forget. Never forget, man. Isn't it crazy that his murder, his fucking murder is actually going to do time? Isn't that bananas? He's already in prison. I know. I know. But I was blown away. You were? Yeah. Well, I thought thought he was going to get off. I mean, the American justice system is a fraud. It works when it, when it, it works when it's not supposed to, and it doesn't when it's supposed to. Yeah. No, I'm just saying innocent people get put to jail all the time and guilty people walk free all the time. So I just assumed that this is going to be another time a guilty person walked free. That would have been massive riots. So you're saying there were riots? (laughs) Protests, but but you're not. No, there was riots. I mean, there was protests too, but there was also riots. It's yeah, dumb it to not bad. say. It's if dumb to not got, say there was riots. Was or, or something. Or are are we far enough removed that we can all agree that it's dumb to say that there wasn't riots? 
I had a lot of white friends trying to tell me like, there's no, there's no riots. There's only peaceful protests. I was like, that's weird. The fucking city is burning down right now. Yeah, people went to the Target. Broken yeah. the Target there for hours. Yeah, you could debate why you businesses. can debate why the riots happen, but you can't say that there wasn't riots and that there was only there peaceful was protests. Destroyed, but we were like, also people. to say that the peace that no one that was involved in the protest had anything to do with riots was also dumb to say. <laughs> like it was also a dumb thing to say. Right. But I understand at the time I understand why people are doing it, but it's also that shit. It's the same thing with politics, you know. It's just like you can't admit any fault because you can never do anything to make people on your side look bad. And that's why people on in like politics will know they'll know they'll fucking find out, dude. Like you think like people don't know about like you know that there's like politicians out there that know other politicians are child molesters. Right. Like they know they're like into sex trafficking. They just don't any say say anything because, oh, I'm a Republican and you're a Republican. Uh, can't do that because you're a fellow Republican. And if I get you, I'm, I can't do anything to hurt the party. Can't do anything to hurt the group. And this is why I don't join groups, because that's crazy thinking. That's an insane, unmoralistic way of thinking. It doesn't matter if it's for the greater good or if it is for the greater good. It doesn't matter. That's not all right. If people do fucked up shit, you can't just pretend like it's not because it makes your side look bad. It's fucking That's insanity. Why the only group we encourage is the Annette Pitt fan base. It's the only I don't, and well, you're we not, you're not, a, you. and you're also not a group. You're all individuals, dude. Fuck that riot. That's why we, we joked around about going, oh, are we going to give our listeners names? No, you're all individuals. You're not a group. We're not even a group, dude. I don't <laughs> consider me and Evan a group. We're friends. We're not a group. So, yeah, yeah. I was only pressured into doing this fuck. <laughs> you want to do. Yeah. It's one of the best hours of your life every week. <laughs> Something to do. I'd be just sitting around doing nothing. Welcome to my life, dude. I'm self-isolating right now. Nope. Not because of COVID. Uh, oh, that's what it made sound no. like. You're like, I'm in isolation. That's what the word uh, is. I'm just trying to save money. So I'm I'm not really I haven't been doing I haven't done anything as of late. It's kind of like pretty much just spend most of my time sitting around by myself. It's most most hours of every day. My job, I sit by myself in a truck and deliver packages. And then I come home and I sit by myself. <laughs> I, I, yeah, but you like it. I don't like it. <laughs> this is this is this Something is hell. I mean- this is the worst version of my life. <laughs> this is this is nothing about it is good. The only thing good is that I'm hopefully preparing for a better future. Hopefully. Hopefully. God bless America. All right, bro, All right that's been plugs. the podcast. Yeah, let's yeah, go to plug. Right. Hey, if this is on YouTube, make sure you just crush the like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the little bell so you get notifications, but YouTube won't send them to you because they don't like us. Um, yeah, but fucking do that. Support the podcast. I'm working on getting us. We're, you know what? I want to tell you capitalism's wrong and consumerism's wrong. So fuck that shit. That's why we give you this for free every week. But, you know, it'd be cool if you, know, you want to give it. Give us a little, you know, give us a little like, give us a little subscribe, you know, share the shit, leave a comment, help the algorithm out, leave a fucking comment. Next, if you're listening on Spotify, make sure you follow us on Spotify and download all the episodes, follow us on Stitcher, download all the episodes. If you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts, make sure you follow us on there. Give us a five star rating, leave a bit of a review. You're not going to do it. I'm losing my oxygen just doing this, but I have to. If you want to contact us, you can contact us at netpit at gmail.com for all booking concerns. If you want to book us for a live stand-up or a live podcast, make sure to hit us up there, and we can work something out. Otherwise, if you have any concerns, if you're really interested in anything else, make sure to hit us up there. If you want to follow us on Facebook, you can follow us on our Facebook page. Hit a like on that. It's at our netpit, and you can follow us at Twitter at our netpit. Also, uh, I think I might start tweeting eventually again, so follow me at Twitter at Drew Must Die. You can follow me on Twitter at Soul7 and on Instagram at Soul7. Besides that, I think that's the pet. That's the cast, right? Yep. Peace, motherfuckers. On to 52. Death of capitalism. <laughs>